after uh, installing Windows 10 I was having a hard time getting Star Citizen to run without with all the new drivers and stuff and uh, this program uh, bore packs would keep shutting down on me so after I found the workaround to get uh, 0601 working which is this guy right here his link is up there at the top This gets runtime working. And he gets uh, this icon here, so it'll run that 0601 in Windows 10. And this fixes your Oculus so it can be seen. Now this is my problem here, this Vorpex wouldn't stay running. Every time you try to run it, the icons would disappear and the program would not run. But by chance, there, see the icons not running. By chance, I found that by doing the factory reset, it would uh, stay running for me. And it's the only way I can get it to stay running so I can use it in Star Citizen. Now it is buggy still, like here, I think it fails. Yeah, fails. And the very next time I do, it works. So everything just a little bit buggy yet in this rollout. The only reason I'm making this is uh, Oculus has delayed their 0.7 driver till next week. That's going to be working with that. Now, you have to redo all your settings here. Uh, because you've done a uh, factory reset. And there it's working finally. Now, I made that icon with uh, Vorpex to start my launcher to start Star Citizen and then just sign in and before you launch you have to change your main screen to the Oculus that's yeah, pretty simple And then you just run Star Citizen and hopefully you'll end up here. Now, you need to adjust all your settings to your own preferences in the game.
and now you're off and running to go have some fun hopefully now if you crash or something I'd recommend a cold start to reset your PC to everything and hopefully everything will work for you course making a few more settings after a crash <laughs> always trying to figure out what you want Forward proximity alert. 